Hello and welcome to episode 100 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode is dedicated to Bruce because Bruce left a comment and asked if um, I could do an episode on building a dock slash pier. Now as you can see this is episode 100 of my Worm series so I thought this should be a very special episode. Ask yourselves this question, what could be more special than you, apart from your children of course. So to make this a special episode I thought let's make it one that you have chosen as in you the viewer. So thank you to Bruce for not only watching the series and not only leaving a comment but also for helping me create a new episode. If anyone else wants to see an episode on something in Worm, leave a comment and I will look into it and if possible make an episode on it. You are all a part of our Worm family, so why not get immortalised by having an episode dedicated to you on YouTube and also of course being shown what it is you want to know. A win-win scenario, I'm sure you will agree. But also, this is another way for you to get involved. And maybe one day, um, you will join us on Irvin Vale by winning a competition. And then you can come and see in person your creation. We have a whole world here to fill with your creations. So forgive me that this is not the intended episode showing the third thing to do with jewellery, but I will continue that when this is done. Okay, I will try to cover as many options with Rainstorm on making a dock slash pier. Say hello, Rainstorm. Hi everyone. There we go, so Rainstorm is very kindly uh, joining me on helping make this episode. And thank you for helping me and make this doc. And for all your wonderful ideas, Rainstorm. Okay. You're welcome. <clears throat> thank you. Well, I'm gonna start. So you can see, I wanted to show you the before and the after. So this is what the area looks like before we start. Now here, you can see what we've done, just as an example for this bit only, is we've laid stone slabs and then sunk it under the water. I'll be showing you how to do that in a dredging episode, which will be another episode, but it will be a good one. So I'll show you how to do that, but I just wanted to show you how it looks when you have this effect around your dock or your pier. Anyway, so I'm gonna start by making the first most necessary component which is the floorboard and then I'm going to show you how to lay it. So let's open this up where we've been putting all the materials. To make a floorboard we are going to need two large iron nails and 21 planks. So let's open the crafting window and let's type in oops there we go, there's floorboards, so if I just expand that and add that to the crafting window, there we go, there's the floorboard. So if I look down here just to show you the additional materials, what you'll need in total, 21 planks and two large nails. Okay, let's create. Okay, so it's gone in unfinished form into the um, pile of items. Let's now add that to the crafting window. And let's add the last nail and continue. And let's now do the planks. They are quite simple to make floorboards as you can see and it would be good for your carpentry skill to make lots and lots of planks. It depends on the size of the dock or pier. The intended idea here for this uh, episode is 
to show you in a small area how you get started and how you can make it look differently using different materials. So the choice is yours at the end of the day how you do it. I just want to give you the heads up and the start to actually doing it. Okay, so we've made the floorboard. Now for laying floorboards um, you, you have to have a dirt tile so if it's grass then dig it with your spade and once it's in dirt form activate your floorboard right click the dirt tile lay boards and over dirt and there we go there's our first wooden plank put down now what we're going to be doing me and rainstorm is covering all of these um, this area with the wooden planks you'll notice two of the piers we've already spent the last good part of time creating these land bridges and that we're going to turn into piers for those of you that have uh, either not watched creating a land bridge or forgotten how to get the tiles up raised above the water I will whilst brainstorm is flooring the area at the towards the end of this episode I will start on that okay so that's the floorboard next I want to show you using tar on the floorboard so we grab tar in our pocket we activate the tar right click the floorboard and click tar notice what happens do you see that the shade goes darker and so there's different ways you can actually make your flooring for your dock and pier just to give you some examples there you can tar it if you wish or just simply lay it as your normal standard wooden planks the choice is yours so there we are that's that next I want to show you how to make a, a rope fence which we're going to be doing on this pier so let's come along to here let's open this up Okay, to make rope fences you're going to need ropes and shafts so let's grab the ropes and grab the shafts okay now if we go to the crafting window and the recipe window and type in rope and then you can see you've got two types of fence you've got the high rope fence and the low rope fence Rainstorm, what fence is it that we're going to do around the dock? The high or the low? low? The low rope fence. The low rope fence, thank you. Okay, so we're going to do the low rope fence. So we're That's gonna... because the low rope fence is passable. Ah, right, oh, okay. So we're, we're doing the low rope so we can walk through it. So if you get off of your boat, you can simply walk onto your pier okay so here we are what we're going to need is the hammer so let me switch to my tool belt with the hammer which is there and the tile border which is there and in our pockets we will need the shaft and the rope to start this uh, low rope fence so what I'll do is now that we have the materials I'll activate my hammer right click on the tile border fence rope and low rope fence and click okay let's add that to the crafting window and let's add some more rope I'm afraid my uh, it's being a bit laggy today. I don't know why. Uh, the weather's fine outside, but the weather does seem to be lagging up a bit. Um, so doing the low rope fence rainstorm, I've added it to the crafting window. Yes. What do I need to do? Just add the ropes and the shafts. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. After you finish continuing, is it because I'm too close, maybe? 
No? Did, did you click on the, um, the incomplete rope? Bounce? Yeah, I've added it to the crafting window, but it doesn't seem to want to continue. Okay, you need to put... put um, oh, maybe it's... I need the... The shafts? Uh, no, it says you need to add one of the tools to the crafting window. See where yeah. it says need tool in crafting window? <laughs> and then you got to have the other items in your inventory. So okay. either your hammer or your mallet need to go into the crafting window. Right, gotcha. Thank you. Let's add the hammer. You're there. welcome. And let's have a look to see if it will let me now. No, still not letting me. Items needed in inventory, shaft, needed tool in crafting window, hammer. So it does need the hammer there. But then that gets rid of uh, all what it's telling me and it loses the recipe. How strange. Do you have a shaft? Yeah, I've got shafts. Let me try. Yeah, see if you can continue. Just do one continuation. Very strange, it should by rights be doing it. I'm having no problem. So, what did you I have do? The incomplete. I just hit continue. Do you, what do you put in the crafting window? I had the mallet in the crafting window. Oh, along is it with the, the incomplete rope? Oh, it's the mallet I must need then. Right, so let me change to the mallet. No, it removes the recipe again. So, uh, oh, all right. Right click on the incomplete rope fence. Yeah. Put a mallet in the other little window. When I do that, the uh, it removes the recipe. You're not are you clicking on the border or are you clicking on the Incomplete rope fence. I'm doing the incomplete rope fence. It is showing it initially in the crafting window, but as soon as I add the hammer, whether it's the mallet or the metal one, the recipe disappears. And then the, the, the window empties out. I am not sure why, because I'm not having the problem. Hmm. Very, very strange. Okay, let me I'll close the window down. I right click on in, on the post. Add to crafting window. Ah, oh, I got an option to continue building. That's what I needed to do. Oh, normally it's opening the recipe windows, but you know what? It serves a good purpose for anyone out there that also gets stuck. So as you can all see, you just right click and continue. You don't open up the crafting window at all. You can't. Yeah. Well, yes, I can. can't. I'm in the crafting. Well, I can't. Okay. It wouldn't let well, me. I mean, you can watch this video once we finish recording, and you'll see it I simply can't. wouldn't let me. Right. Anyway, so that's how. That's you... just because it's you, gamester. That's all. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Probably. <laughs> that's so true. Anyway, after much ado, we finally have a low rope fence. So we're going to continue on building. Let's see, what did I want to show you next? Okay, so this is the theme for this pier. We're going to have wooden planks and we're going to have a low rope fence around it, which Rainstorm is, um, as you can see, being very busy and getting this done. Now, what you can also do, however, is it might, it all depends on the type of theme that you want for your dock. That one there can be an old world theme, but it might be that you want to have a, a port in front of your castle. 
in which case you would want to go for a different theme so let's show you what I'm talking about okay if I have a look in here and if I grab one brick okay what you can do as a different type of theme is you can pack the tile first of all activate the stone brick right click pave and have round cobblestone okay so that sets the floor next what we can do is we can put a uh, chain fences either side so what I'll do is grab six chains grab some bricks okay I'll keep that open now again what I will do activate my hammer right click the border fence and what fence was it uh, rainstorm oh I see uh, it you're build. Making the chain fence. yeah build chain fence thank you so I'm going to left click build chain fence okay to continue to simply right click continue building I suspected it was exactly the same as the rope one so right click continue Worm does love to throw curb balls at me. I mean, that was a prime example over there. It knew I was recording. It knew I had only a matter of minutes to either figure it out or end, cancel the episode. Oh, goodness sake. It does like to challenge me. But this is Worm, and it will teach you respect after it's slapped you in the face many times. you can't pass through the chain fence that's why we're going to leave spaces between them all right thank you okay so i need some more materials on this it uses more than 10 bricks by the way um because you're doing both sides no i'm only doing one side so far and i've gone through Yeah, there were 20. There's something odd going on here because it's not completing. I've added all of them. Here we go. Time for fun Stand, again. You're too close. It's not telling me that in the message, but I will back up. You can move again. You continue. So it says I've continued. It says I can move again. Oh, it's using more chain links. Well, how many does it use? Six chain links and ten brick. I've used six already. No, there's something really I weird. I don't know, maybe you're, maybe you're bugged up. I like, am completely uh, bugged up here. Because, oh, there we go, at last it's finished it. Yeah, it did use six, you was right, and ten bricks. It was, it's, just, <laughs> it's just very bugged up, but that's all right. There we go, so there is a chain fence there is a rope fence okay let's put another one on the other side and then I can show you what I want was going to okay so Did let's you show them the tall the tall, tall fence the tall rope fence yet no I haven't we can do one tile for the tall rope I think perhaps it was because I was too close to the one I was building, perhaps.
Let's see what skills are we getting? So, doing this, I'm getting my carpentry, my masonry, and my miscellaneous, and my hammer, of course. So, lots of skills, and my paving, so it's all good. Right, okay, there is... Sorry, what was that, uh, Rainstorm? Wrong cobblestone down. Now I'm going to break that up. I <laughs> I put rough instead of round. Um, hey, they're right next to each other on the, the list. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. At least we can demonstrate that. We'll break it and then put down the round. Right, okay, so here's the chain fences. Something to bear in mind with the chain fences is you can't walk through them. So whatever you do, do not go surrounding your whole pier with chain fences unless of course you want to keep everyone out including yourself so you can't go through them with the small the low rope the ro low rope fence however you can so that's a nice one to put all around your pier okay so there we go so that's doing a standard wooden one with rope fencing and if you're more of a militarized, you want to have a fort and a port instead of a pier and dock, then you can make it more militarized with your round cobblestone and your chain fences. Okay, so. Can you put a top one here for them? Where's that? Where oh, I'm there. Standing. Okay. I shall do that. Okay, so what am I going to need to make it? Um, the same thing as the low rope fence, but you're going to use two more ropes and two more... Do we have um, the materials? Yeah. yeah, they should be right here in this bin. Oh, let's have a look. In this pile. Mm -hmm. That's all of it. Oh, right. Okay, thank you. I shall do that. So everyone can see the difference between a low and a tall and thank you for reminding me You're okay welcome. so right click the border fence rope and high rope fence There we go, so let's close that. There is the difference between the low and the high. You choose whichever you want for your dock or pier. Maybe it will be the outside of it, the entrance you will surround with the high. And can you walk through it? No. So it's like the chain fence. That's the main difference between the low rope fence and the high one. So like I say, maybe have inland perimeter with the high rope fences and around your actual piers and docks, the low, so you can walk through them. Okay, let's help Rainstorm put some of these floorboards down. Do you want to break up this um cobblestone so that I can finish this here. Oh right, okay. Let's drop this back down and I'll come and do that. Okay, so if you make any mistakes when with your paving, simply activate your shovel, right click on the tile. Wait. Your, hmm? But remember if they have a religion you want to uncheck the unfaithful. Right, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to actually show them that with this. So you activate your shovel, right click, click destroy pavement. Now I'm a follower of Venora. I'm not a priest, I'm just a follower. So when I try, 
it says Venora does not accept that action. So remember, if you want to do it and you are a priest or a follower, down here where it says faithful, click it once, it turns it off. You may now do as you wish, it basically says. Right click, destroy again. And there it goes. Thank you for reminding me, Rainstorm. You're welcome. Okay, so that can now be done. That's how you pull them up. Or destroy the uh, tiles if they're not the material that you want. Okay, let's lay some more of these floorboards. Very heavy, the floorboards. That's why we went around laying them down before we started. Oops, and I've done the wrong tile now. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I went... <laughs> Oh, that's right, I'll break it up. <laughs> oh, destroy pavement. Notice I've destroyed two pavements and Venora's not noticed at all. So you can get away with doing a lot of actions that your god doesn't like. You know, I suppose as long as you're not doing it day and night, you'll be fine. Okay, let's now actually do the correct tiles. Good job we made plenty of floorboards, that's all I can say. Did we? Yeah, <laughs> yeah we did. <laughs> what, was that a reference into you making them all? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know I like to use the word we, don't you? Uh, yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> And thank you for pointing that out. Okay, let's finish laying these. No problem. <laughs> mm. Oh, I did make a brick. Okay, put those back. Of course, you don't have to make your pier or dock all in one day. You can make it a project that you do gradually. Okay, let's break this cobblestone up. So it doesn't matter if you've already laid an area with uh, a cobblestone path, just simply break it up and put down your floorboards or your round cobblestone, depending on what look you want to go for. Okay, while Brainstorm is continuing on with the chain section, what I'm going to do now is, for those of you that have not watched any of the terraforming episodes I've done, I thought for one of the piers I will start to build it. So we're going to have another pier going out here, so I thought what I'll do is at least on one of them show you, remind you or show you for the first time how to terraform. So, what I'm going to do is disembark. Very, very simple. This is one of the things I love about Worm. They have made the terraforming in it a real pleasure and delight to do. So, what we're going to simply do, activate our shovel, grab a load of dirt. And then we are going to click the tile just ahead of us. And when, as soon as we do that, after activating the shovel, you will see that we get an option here to level. We don't want to flatten because it's not a, a hill or slope. 
we want to use the level command and what it will do the tile that we're standing on which is completely flat you'll notice it will make this tile that I left click on exactly the same as the tile that I'm on so when I've done that then click on level you'll notice now that it's going to use the dirt in my inventory to raise it up Here we go. Remember it drains your um, stamina up here. flower there, a reed plant. And there we are. So that's the first tile done. Completely flat, as you can see. Now what I can do is, can I grab that? Yeah, I can, good. Half the time, I don't know whether it's me like, oh, there we are, I finally got it. Right, so what I need now is a floorboard, which I don't think I have any on me. So what I'll do is I'll do another tile. Yeah, suffering with a bit of lag at the moment because the internet where I'm staying at is being a bit sluggish today. Okay, so I'll simply move along to the edge of this tile that I've just done and repeat the process when the game allows me to that is maybe we can watch Rainstorm as I'm waiting she's doing really well look at that she doesn't hang about Should probably have this whole dock finished by the time I'm ready to get the disembark option. Oh, there we are. Now, this is probably going to be a two part episode as we're doing the basics for yeah, the, the rope one. Is done. Oh, the rope one's done. Well done, Rainstorm. Yeah, this will be a two part um, episode because we're doing the foundations no, to, to start okay. with. But we'll be adding all of the decorations in the second part. Okay, so let's select that tile after activating the shovel. Having a bit of dirt as well in our inventory will help. Oh, I have got some. And let's carry on. Now, like I say, I am going to do another episode in the future as well on dredging. So whilst this uh, dock may look shallow, do not worry about that because I shall be making it deeper 
in another episode. Um, I'm not sure when I'll get around to that, but that's something I will do to complete this dock. And hopefully the internet will be behaving itself a bit better than what it is today. If you're over in America, you've got the luxury of having cable and good, decent wiring in place for your internet infrastructure. I'm sadly over here in the UK, still a lot of the UK is just not up to scratch with wiring, cabling for internet. A lot of areas are still very, very slow. Sadly, that is what happens when you have only one um, company in charge of it. Competition is always a very good thing. So laggy, it's not even giving me the dirt before the digging command finishes. Oh well. Right, well, that is a good place for us to finish this first episode. Um, if you would uh, like to say, if you can hear me, Rainstorm, I don't know of all the lag whether you're actually hearing me, but if you'd like to say goodbye to everyone, I will exit the episode. Okay, I will continue again in a minute. Okay, I'm just going to end this. Bye, one. everyone. Have a great day. Okay, wherever you, thank you. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. And we will continue on with this dock slash pier in the next part to this episode. Goodbye.